Now to a GMA investigation this morning. We're looking at something so critical for women, breast cancer screening. The mammogram is the most widely known test. So when we heard about another screening method that some say can find the precursors to breast cancer, we took a closer look. ABC's Kira Phillips is here with what she found, and it was quite a lot, Kira. Sure was, and we're talking about thermography here, Amy. These particular brochures advertise it as a painless infrared screening test, an alternative to mammography, and more efficient at detecting precursors to cancer. But as our investigation uncovered, taking these claims at face value could put your health at risk. Please check us out. The pitch sounds so promising. We'll pick up tumors eight to 10 years prior to mammograms. Thermography, an infrared screening test available at more than 700 locations across the U.S sometimes advertised as a radiation-free screening for identifying precursors to breast cancer. Tomography, the new mammography. But if you hear that and think it's a replacement for a mammogram, it isn't. Some practitioners say they make it clear it's not a standalone test, but Morgan Delane says she didn't notice that in the fine print. They said they can detect disease, um, maybe in advance before it even happens. After finding a lump in her breast in 2012, Morgan says she was in denial and hoping to deal with it naturally. So she went here to Total Thermal Imaging Wellness Center just outside San Diego, operated by Dr. Gregory Melvin, a chiropractor. He said, are you sure you have a lump? And I said, yeah. And he said, I don't see anything. Her baseline test indicated she had what they called a mild to moderate risk of developing aggressive tissue. Dr. Melvin recommended exercises, a cleanse, and that she come back in three months for a comparative scan, his protocol for new patients. Morgan returned four months later. Her symptoms had become dramatically worse. She refused another set of scans. I just said, I'm such a fool. Why did I even come here? Unemployed and uninsured, Morgan says it took several months to get in for a mammogram and biopsy. Her diagnosis? Stage three breast cancer. How'd you get through? I think I'm just stronger than I thought I was. According to the FDA, thermography has not been shown to be effective as a standalone test for breast cancer screening and is only cleared for use alongside a primary test like mammography. The total thermal imaging brochure states that thermography, quote, is an alternative to mammography and is far more efficient at detecting cancer. I don't know anyone who I consider a credible resource who would suggest that thermography in the absence of another breast cancer detection test is adequate. Melvin and his partner Linda Hayes agreed to sit down with us. Do you have research that shows that thermography saves lives? Only in conjunction where they were using mammograms with thermography. Linda, you told our producers that nobody needs a mammogram. I would never say, you know, because people are very, very adamant about mammograms. And it's something I'm just not going to say. But this is Linda Hayes at a business expo talking with GMA Investigates and a producer from our L.A. station, KABC. Do I need to get a mammogram if I do this? Nobody needs a mammogram. This will Even if you never did this, you don't need a mammogram. Yeah, that's her, her feeling. For, for her. I went in for a thermal scan at a clinic in New York, recording it with undercover cameras. All images sent to Dr. Melvin for reading. When I received my baseline results, a mild to moderate risk of developing aggressive tissue. They read almost identically to Morgan's, but I went in for a mammogram afterwards, and thankfully, it was normal. Do you remember your patient, Morgan Sloan? No. We show them Morgan's thermal report from 2012. There are significant thermal findings in the report. If you were definitely alarmed, why wait? We need a three-month recall to understand it. Dr. Melvin later told ABC Morgan didn't follow his recommendations and pointed out this line on the intake form. The report will not tell me whether I have an illness, disease, or other condition. We also asked about those cancer detecting statements in the brochure. They told us they have now changed it. Walk nice. As for Morgan, she is now cancer free. And her advice for anyone who discovers a lump? Go get a biopsy. It's the only way.
a biopsy being just one of the medically accepted and proven methods to examine a lump. When it comes to breast cancer screening, the gold standard is the mammogram. Hundreds of thousands of women have been involved in research trials showing that test is the most effective early detection method. Thermography just doesn't have that kind of scientific backing. That's right, and early detection saves lives. And I think most people know that a mammogram saved my life right here in Times Square on Good Morning America. I had my first mammogram at 40 and it led to a stage two breast cancer diagnosis and I you know, had no other symptoms. What are the current guidelines for women and mammography? Right now they say 45, but it's interesting that you tell me you had it at 40 because women should talk to their doctor. Yes. Maybe they need one sooner. Yes. I was watching you watch this piece and, and oh, your my face was boiling when she said no one needs a mammogram. I, I needed a mammogram and it saved your life. <laughs> exactly. Yes. And women need to have the option and the information, the correct information about ha how to handle their own um, health and you say it's important that they listen to their bodies right and and you did I mean you were surprised what you found but then you knew what you had to do right. a lot of women they know something is wrong like Morgan knew something was wrong go to your primary doctor or your OBGYN and talk to your doctor bottom line right. and go with what's scientifically proven at this point. And look, I know no one wants to have any unnecessary tests, but these are necessary. It is the most effective way to detect breast cancer. And many times we are symptomless and it doesn't mean that we're cancer free or that we're healthy. We have to have these very important tests available to women. Anyone who tells you that you don't need one, you probably ought to get a second opinion. You're my biggest advocate. I knew you would love this story. I knew you would appreciate this story. And women everywhere should appreciate the story. Thank you for what you did, Kira. And in fact, if you'd like to learn more about your investigation, you're gonna have a lot more tonight on Nightline. So thank you again on behalf of all women who are in need of mammograms. By the way, you also have a podcast, you're a busy woman, on the Mueller investigation, if people would like How's to listen this for to that. A segue? Yeah, here you go, segue right into politics. Now, when you're not watching George Stephanopoulos on this week, our, our, our expert, okay? Yes, thank you very much much. Download our podcast, The Investigation, and we are going to discuss the Mueller report. We have Mueller report. We have key newsmakers on the show. We break it down, our whole investigative team, what you need to know about the Mueller investigation. Thank you, Kira. <laughs> well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.